Okay, it's actually April 2nd. We've had a coronavirus issue and I have been doing stock market stuff for the past couple of months. Uh, things have finally lightened up just a little bit and I've had a chance to get some more work done. Uh, the last couple days I'm actually working on setting the doors. Uh, here's the laser that I use and I line up this side, make sure that it's plumb. The laser is not hitting on it right now. It's actually, I don't know if you can actually see the street going through right now. Uh, that's how I actually, you can bend this frame very easily. Once you put in a couple, a couple pieces of, I've actually forgotten what they're called. Anyway, uh, once you get the bottom and the top set, then you can actually open the door and then you can shim from both sides. You can see these shims are actually put on both sides. Uh, we check to make sure the door is going to be nice and clean all the way at the top and all the way down to the bottom, making sure there's enough room for paint. I had a little issue with that uh, the first time I did a uh, door installation. Uh, this is the second door, uh, the first door pivoting all the way around. I set this yesterday and then sanded and primed. Turn this into a nice little workstation. That is now sanded and primed and ready to go back up before the weather comes in uh, this weekend. It's currently Thursday. So I've got today and tomorrow to get that door put back up. That'll only take a couple minutes. Um, also, let's see. I don't think I have done any kind of notating. I've actually installed heaps of cans. And the reason that I have so many on the perimeter is that I'm not sure whether I'm going to have benches in one place or another. So I doubled up. Instead of having some kind of uh, projecting light, meaning like on, a, on some kind of mast, I would rather have most of my light come from the top. And you can see on the entire perimeter, that's a little light, looks like I gotta clean my lens. Anyway, so if you notice that, uh, that the lines that we have actually go up and meet with the end. So what I've done, meet that this row goes all the way through. What I've actually done is I've created two different circuits. Actually, this side has two circuits. Every other light on one switch and every other light on the other switch. Now, fortunately, since I'm kind of a home control nut, it's very easy for me when I toggle the light switch to turn on whatever circuits I want. So on the other side of the ladder, I've got the same issue or situation where I actually put uh, a left switch and a right switch and then even in the front a left switch and a right switch and I've got another can specifically right below or excuse me right above the window because we're going to put a sink here. Here's the drain pipe. Moving upstairs you can actually see that there are cans up there as well that uh, 26, 27 20, I think 28 cans so far, but I still need to address what I'm going to do with the stairwell. Let's see, anything else that I've done? Uh, Frankie has had a chance to paint all of our posts, so everything is nice and clean. All the lighting out here is installed as well. In fact, I think I ordered 120 cans and I have seven left. So sounds like a uh, above as well, above my soffit. And these soffits as well. And this is actually where I started. I'm sure I had a video here. Uh, I tried doing an offset with four inch cans because the truss is right smack in the middle. So I couldn't put a can, a row of cans right down the middle. So I tried to stagger and Patty and I liked it so much that we decided to go with everything the same way. So, well, anyway, there's an update. I could probably show you what the roof looks like real quickly. Things have finally dried out a little bit. And this is what, what the roof, the truck port, 
I've got a lot of work to do, but unfortunately the stock market is keeping me very busy right now. That's it.